So last week I talked about ways to address uh, a question from your examiner during your Viva or maybe any other academic discussion as to why did you not choose a questionnaire or why did you not choose a different method for data collection than the one that you did choose. Uh, this week I want to talk about something similar, uh, also quite a, quite a common question, uh, but this time about data analysis. Did you consider this way to analyze your data or did you consider that way or this method or, or this methodology or why did you not choose this method or that method or that methodology? And here it gets a bit trickier and in my opinion uh, a little bit more difficult uh, to answer this question than the question that I discussed last week. So the question about data collection methods. And uh, so the main difference, the reason it's trickier and the main difference between the two questions is that uh, generally, you are expected uh, to know about uh, the alternatives when, when it comes to data collection. So you are expected to have read about other data collection methods. There are not that many, or at least there is, uh, let's say, a standard set of relatively common data collection methods. And like I said, you are expected to have read about them because that's the only way for you to make an informed decision that uh, this method and not that method will uh, will indeed be effective and will help you gather the data that you need to gather to answer your research questions. And uh, as I explained last week, uh, as I explained in that video, uh, this will be uh, the core of your response. So your response to the question, why did you not choose, for example, the questionnaire, uh, will be based on highlighting uh, why the questionnaire would not have helped you gather the, the data that you need to gather. With data analysis, however, so with this question, why did you not choose a different method of data analysis? Uh, the situation is a little bit different, and this is mainly because of how broad and how vague at the same time the topic can be. So I'm pretty sure that you've noticed that already. You know that already if you've been studying and trying to understand data analysis. I also often refer to that, that vague nature uh, of data analysis. There are uh, no... Uh, a set or fixed framework, so there is hardly any kind of a template or framework. There, there are a few, but then you have loads of different methodologies and methods and approaches to different elements of data analysis. So, uh, so you may have a general approach uh, that seems to be similar to another one, but then uh, the, uh, the approach to coding within that approach may be different. So it's just, uh, it seems that it's such a broad and vague topic. Uh, and this is exactly the reason why it is not possible to adopt the same kind of strategy to answering the question, why did you not choose this method? Or, or did you consider choosing that method or that approach to, to coding or data analysis in general? And this is because, uh, like I said, the topic is so broad and so vague, it's simpl uh, simply not possible uh, to know about every single alternative. It's not possible for you to have read about every single approach and every alternative and to really have a, an in-depth and good understanding of every single way in which you can approach uh, this, this task of data analysis. And the second reason, and it's related to, this, to, this, uh, to the first one, is that because it's so broad, because it's not possible to, uh, to really go in-depth uh, of each uh, possible approach and way to analyze the data, uh, it's very difficult to, uh, to provide a counter argument to the arguments of somebody who argues that this other approach, in fact, could be better. So uh, what I mean is that I could sit here all day and I could provide you with really good arguments why the approach I'm using is actually more effective or at least as effective as the one that you're using. It, it will be very difficult for you to defend that. So basically to avoid this situation, to avoid this weird conversation and back and forth and, and, and basically a pointless discussion, uh, as well as uh, to convince your examiners that you actually know what you're doing, uh, the approach I usually suggest is actually, actually the opposite to what I discussed last week. So this time we will not be talking about the weaknesses of other methods or we will not be talking why this other method wouldn't be as good. Of course, you can still do that. There are some general approaches and methodologies that uh, you can straight away rule out and they just don't match the study at all. But when it comes to little nuances and this little differences, like I said, uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty hard 
to do that. So you don't want to be talking about these other uh, the weaknesses of these other approaches. You also don't want to to lie, or you know, you don't want to. Uh, to try to convince the examiners that, that you do know everything about these other approaches because it's simply not possible. So instead, this time you will be talking about the strengths of your approach and why you believe that this approach, in fact, uh, is effective and, and provide evidence as well for that effectiveness. So your response uh, to this question may look something like this. Um, I have done the reading, I, I liked this approach, I believe this approach would be effective uh, for me to analyze my data. Uh, indeed, it did turn out to be effective because I conducted a pilot study, I tested uh, a range of, uh, of procedures and elements of my study, including data analysis techniques. So I tested this approach, it turned out to be effective, I was happy with the results uh, it delivered. I was happy with the analysis that I was managed to, to conduct and therefore I decided to use this approach in the main study. If this approach uh, turned out to be uh, problematic in any way, if my results uh, wouldn't be as in-depth or accurate as I hoped them to be, I uh, was ready to consider uh, the use of other approaches. I would have uh, tested other approaches and then decided on the one that fits my study. But for now, I, am, uh, I was 100% happy and confident with this approach to data analysis. So as you can see, I'm not really trying to pretend that I know all about these other approaches. I'm just, uh, I'm just saying that I am confident in this approach. I'm demonstrating, uh, providing the evidence. I'm, I'm uh, saying that I conducted pilot study. Of course, if I have conducted a pilot study, I'm not saying you should just say that if you didn't. And I'm uh, explaining how confident I am uh, I saw the results, I was happy with the results, and I decided to do that. Nobody can test all possible approaches to data analysis, and nobody can understand all possible and read about all possible approaches. So if you instead demonstrate that you are confident, this approach turned out to be effective, uh, usually this should be enough, and this should be a good response uh, to this question. So I hope that you enjoyed the video, I hope that you learned something new, I hope that this was uh, useful or will be useful during your thesis defense. Please like the video if you liked it. Uh, comment, put your comments below. If you're preparing for Viva, maybe give me some ideas for other questions that you want me to, uh, to discuss in my video. Uh, otherwise, if you uh, prefer a more detailed, more tailored uh, approach and support, feel free to explore the different services that I provide. I'll put the link underneath. And if you are uh, preparing for your Viva, your defense, good luck.